Racism in America is a story in which past and present are intertwined. It's impossible to understand driving while black without understanding the American history going all the way back to slavery. I found a recording made by Alan Lomax in 1947 of black prisoners singing on a chain gang. I used that recording, I manipulated it electronically to put it in a setting with modern hip hop beats, scoring, sound design, to create a theme in which the present and the past were connected. Brian Keane, who I met in the 70s, he was a friend of my compatriot Larry Coriel. We got to know each other back in the day and he sent some uh, tracks to my home studio. I asked Randy to play electric trumpet on some very dissonant changes to go with a section in which blacks try to figure out a way to behave with police, but it doesn't really matter. Their skin color determines what's gonna happen. Racism, no matter what some people say, is very inherent in our society. I know it very well from having studied black culture and of course black music for many years. I've known Brian King for 30 plus years. We've been longtime friends as well as bandmates. Uh, and we certainly have a, a history of recordings together, but our friendship is probably at the core of what our relationship is all about, and uh, I'm glad to be a part of this project. I've had my own experiences uh, driving while black. I was in LA uh, as a young musician, uh, one day driving my friend's Porsche, and the LA police stopped me and asked me what I was doing driving that car. Before I knew it, he was snatching me out of the car by my collar, putting me on the ground in a brand new suit, and he put his uh, foot on my back and put a gun to my head. I was uh, stopped in Arizona. I was being followed once, I should say. I was driving a Mercedes and and they started following me and, and, and then I didn't feel comfortable. So at that particular time, I called the police on the police. <laughs> We're putting together a score for Driving While Black and every black musician on this score has had a run in with Driving While Black. I am also a visual artist and I was doing a wonderful art show in Memphis, Tennessee and my friend who helped me during that show asked me if I could give him a gift for his daughter. We went out to the car, and as soon as I opened up the back of the, of the uh, car to give him a piece of heart, as I was holding it up, the police came up to us, slammed on the brakes, and jumped out of the car and pulled their guns on us. I lost a, uh, a cousin of mine. The police saw him kind of walking. He was halfway walking in the streets. I, I think he was trying to cross over the street. He saw the car coming. It was a police car, so he's out in the street waiting for the car to pass. The policeman pulled up to him. Whatever they said to him escalated into this unnecessary uh, exchange. His answers to their questions, I guess, were misconstrued. Uh, the end result of that particular confrontation between the police and my cousin in, uh, ended by my cousin being shot 27 times. <laughs>